Hey guys, welcome to Technical Video here. Today in this video, we will be talking about one of the issues regarding your Apple Watch. And the issue is that whenever you try to pair your Apple Watch with your iPhone or a device, you get an error saying that iPhone is out of date or Apple requires Apple Watch requires a newer version of iOS. So now how to fix this? Let's see in this video. So guys, let's start the video. So guys here the most important or most recommended solution is that go and check your iOS version or a software update and here guys make sure that you have a latest iOS version installed on your device for that go to settings open general and click on about section okay check the iOS version or again go to software update and check for the recent update in software update you will get a notification regarding the latest iOS update released by Apple so if you not installed the latest update just go ahead and install the update on your device and fix the issue for those people who have been using a beta version of ios on their devices first of all they can remove the beta version and try for that go to settings click on general open profiles and remove the beta profile from your device once you remove the beta profile from your device it will reboot your device and after that you can restore the stable version of ios on your devices by restoring process or you can also try updating your device to available latest stable version of ios that way you can come back to your stable version of ios from a beta version talking about solution number two that is regarding your connectivity or a network issue so make sure that there is no network issue on your devices and you have very good network it might be your wi-fi bluetooth or a mobile data so you can do one thing you can go to your control center and you can disable and enable the settings or a network option like your wi-fi Bluetooth or a mobile data or you can go to setting application and manually do it for that open setting application okay turn on or disable or enable the airplane mode similarly with your Wi-Fi and Bluetooth that way you can uh, you can just refresh the settings of your Wi-Fi and Bluetooth or mobile data similarly you can try resetting the network setting for your device for that open setting application go to general okay open general option and just scroll down until the end and you will find a reset option open the reset and you click on reset network setting so basically it will wipe out all the manually or customized settings okay on your devices and it will set back the default settings on your device so like this if there is any minor bug or a glitch in the network settings it will uh, fix that issue and get back to the default settings the next solution i'll be talking about is very basic one and common it is recommended by many people also if you visit the apple forum or apple web page they recommended that always maintain battery more than 50 percent on your device so whenever you try to pair a apple watch to a device that time uh, make sure that your mobile or your iphone is charged more than 50 percent so guys just follow this because if you visit an apple support website or a web page then multiple times it has said that maintain a battery percentage more than 50 percent so just follow the method and let's see if it's fix the issue guys until now we tried fixing this issue with the software so now let's talk about some hardware issue as well so for that do one thing try pairing your apple watch with some other iphone and if your apple watch pairs correctly with other iphone without any issue then think that there is a issue with your current iphone which were trying to connect with your apple watch and if your apple watch doesn't pair or doesn't connect with other iphone also then think that there is an issue with your apple watch itself there might be some hardware issue or a software issue with the apple watch that can be fixed by taking it to apple care or a service center so guys just try to find out the issue if it is hardware issue or any software issue can be fixed instantly okay guys that's it okay i hope this solution works for you if any solution works for you please comment and let me know which one worked for you and guys thank you so much for watching the video and if you like this video please give it a like and please subscribe for more awesome videos on iPhone tips and tricks and iPhone solutions. Until then, thank you very much. Bye-bye.